Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. Cardboard Coat Check is our silly name we give to our series of unboxing videos. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight the question we are answering is, what's in the box? In regards to this game in my hands, which is Trap Words from Check Games Edition. This is a four to eight player party game, plays in about 30 minutes, that is a team-based game uh, that kind of combines dungeon crawling with, uh, with word guessing, word game, word play. Uh, you know the secret word your teammates must guess. They're supposed to give clues, but the other team has set a number of trap words that you can't say. And if you say them, your team loses that round. And you don't know what's on the list. And there's a time limit. Go. It's basically it. I love the idea of trying to add a uh, such a, um, a thematic element to a word-based game instead of your usual type of word-based game. Now, I've not played this game. I don't know what's in this box. I do have to thank CGE for sending me a review copy. You're going to get to see what's in this box the same time I am, so let's get to it. All right, here we have the box for trap words. We are going to crack her open. All right, so we got baggies. Big bonus for baggies, a way to at least organize things. And we've got some little tiny plastic standees. Um, you know what? I will crack this open. So we can kind of show these off quickly. Uh, little plastic standees. Plastic standees. We have two pencils included, already sharpened pencils included in the box here. Some nice black pencils. And huge points. I gotta love CGE for this for also including a pencil sharpener. Thumbs up, CGE. Pencils and a sharpener included in the game. We have a sand timer. Pretty much your standard sand timer. It looks like I'm going to guess about a minute, but that's just a rough guess. So we have a sand timer. We have a stack of hobbit size small cards with a number of words on here. So, oh, they're like upside down and forward, and that's hard to read. Um, claw, coin, calcium, centipede, sticker, brain, arrow... So here we have why some are one way up and some are another. I have no idea. We're going to crack this open. So right on the back, i got to say I do dig this little mascot here. Creepy looking doll mascot. There was all, you know, creepy cute. Uh, he is, we got all kinds of different card types here. So we're going to make a little bit of room. And we're going to split these out and see what we got. So we got creepy cute guy. We got grinning um, jack-o'-lantern flaming smile face. So I don't know if these are different sets. And then we have a whole bunch of word cards. So the word cards, again, have cards facing multiple directions, which I got to admit is a little hard to look at. So they actually, it looks like they stuck to the fantasy theme here, even with the thing. So you have like gunpowder arrow um, on the back. You've got YOLO, oh, yo-yo, sandal, village, wart. So, I don't know, it's a, it's a mix of uh, thematic fantasy names and not. Sawdust, Lair, University, Dancer, Bandage, Vinegar, Monster, Fingerprint, and so on. Um, there's a huge stack of these, and they are two-sided. I couldn't tell you how many cards are there. I'm sure it'll tell us somewhere in the rule book. Nice, easy to read, except for the fact that every other word's upside down, which I find a little distracting. So, what do we have here with these grinny... Okay, we have monsters. So we have a whole deck full of monsters here, like troll, demon, vampire, dragon, mummy, demon, dragon, mummy again. Um, some of these have stars on them. So we have a whole bunch of monster cards that obviously modify the rules, because it says, troll, your crew giver can say no more than ten words. And then these are some kind of spells. Word of Terror, Flood, Darkness. So we have Word of Terror darkness petrification so we have a number of spells here as well feeble-minded so sticking to that fantasy rpg like element set of themes so that's it for cards which we're going to toss those aside uh, there is a cge catalog in here we're checking out because they make some fantastic games including some of my favorites like galaxy trucker next we have the rule book uh very okay we have the overview Okay, it's, it's, it's backwards, like you open the book the wrong way. That's confusing. So we have the overview, which reads kind of strange. 
it's a little four page thing with a rule summary. I just don't understand why it doesn't open like a normal <laughs> North American rule book. Um, there is a QR code here that you can go to. Um, then we have a list of components. This is a fuller rule book, so I don't know why there's a thin little overview and a fuller rule book. Uh, showing all the different components, which we still have a lot to go through here. Um, summarizing how to play, it shows you how to build the dungeon. It looks like you're going to have a, a screen that you hold up so that people can't see what you're writing. I know it is team based, so it's probably one writer per team. You're going to choose a word set, and here you can see that you aren't going to have to read those words upside down. So there's some kind of sleeve that you put the words in, so you only see them facing one way. So that's good to see, because I was finding that a little confusing. Um, going through how to play, the end of the round, we are looking at only about eight, uh, seven for the first round, and then later rounds, battling the monsters. Um, and then what's legal? So a whole thing on legal and illegal clues, which is common in this type of game. We are looking at 12 pages total. And then there's some little bit of a rule summary on the back too. That is part of those 12 pages. Then we have punch boards, not something you usually find in uh, word games. So we have the dungeon. Wow, there's there's a it's quite the room there. Uh, these are two sided with different things on each side. There are also some torch symbols here. Two sided dungeon tiles. They are so well punched that they're literally falling out as I flip these over. Uh, then we have some monsters. Some really cool looking. We got a dragon here. Um, we have a rather unique looking vampire. I, I like the art style. It's cool. It's cartoony, but it's well done. Uh, then we have these. Uh, this is the, I said it would be a slide in, but it looks like you actually put this over top of the card. So it's not a sleeve. Instead, it's a, it's some kind of cardboard thing that you would put the clues through. So there's two of those. And then we have more monsters. And then two team tokens representing where your adventurers are. Finally... We have a very thick pad uh, for writing down while you're playing. I, would, I wouldn't say a score sheet, but a pad. Uh, again, probably more than you're ever going to need. Uh, you'd have to really love this game to go through this pad. And from what I can tell when you play, you're going to fold it up so that you only see part of it. There you go. And that's it. Now, same thing I found with other CGE games. It would have been nice to have a box insert to kind of understand and, and hold these things, especially keeping the cards separate from everything else. Uh, these punch boards are so ridiculous. Stuff's literally falling into my lap as I'm trying to put it back into box. And that's it. That's what you get with trap words. I am looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, I love the idea that they've made a thematic card party game. And again, thank you, Tensile Sharpener. Huge bonus there. That is two different party games from Check Games Editions I've opened up that both had those. I was very impressed by that. So there you have what you get in the box with Trap Words from CGE, a team-based word game with a fantasy dungeon crawl theme. You've got a couple of competing adventure parties uh, going through a dungeon thrown into a word-based party game, and I love the concept of that. I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. So thank you for watching. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com where you can find uh, reviews, answers to your game and game night questions, lists of Patreons, and uh, I'm fumbling bad to hear, sorry, podcasts, and other things uh, of interest to gamers. You can also um, find us everywhere on the web as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, on Facebook, Twitter, MeWe, Instagram, Pinterest, all those social media places. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider tipping the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Uh, for the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Good night and game on.